Now I invite Abdul Rahman Basra from King Edward Medical University, Lahore. Abdul Rahman Basra. The topic of his speech is Let the Freedom Ring. I invite Anamta Shokat from GC University, Lahore. Anamta Shokat from GC University, Lahore. The topic of her speech is Let the Freedom Ring. Ladies and gentlemen, today, repeating slogan of a man from 90s asking for his rights while standing in a country which sucks the blood of my ancestors, promising them a future that I am still asking for, is enough a reason to let freedom ring so that in the coming years no other man has to stand at my position repeating the same slogan asking for same rights as every time we stood up and dared to ask why our rights are denied our questions were strangled in the air our tones were made dead in our throats and our words were sealed in between our lips. Just so, the long night of captivity continues. Just so, the status quo remains undisturbed. Just so, no one in the world gets to know that we are still living in a cage. But this time, our masters have changed. Mr. President, Today I ask you, I ask you to look around and see, see what results crushing those raising voices have produced. Look around and see the complaints of Baloch people that you have made dead in their throats. Today screaming in the form of thousands of Shari Baloch involved in violent activities just to register their existence. Look around and see the complaints of Saraiki people that you have made dead in their throats. Today screaming in the form of thousands of blood affected Saraikis suffering just because they have no representation. Look around and see the complaints of people of Hazara that you have made dead in their throats. Today screaming in the form of massive anti-Shia killings. Look around and see the complaints of violence and oppression that you have made dead in the throats of women. Today screaming in the form of Noor Mukaddams. These dead voices have become the cruel, bestial realities of today, ladies and gentlemen. The cruel, bestial realities of today. Mr. President, we are scared. We are scared of the monsters we have created. Let freedom ring so that we no longer produce wild beasts but caring humans. Let freedom ring so that no man is afraid of getting killed for placing his hands above the navel or below the navel, his trouser above the ankle or below the ankle. Let freedom ring so that no mother has to see 
bullet piercing through another hayat baloch body right in front of her eyes let freedom ring so that no baloch kid is afraid of adding baloch to his name and no pashtun shies away from his pashto accent let freedom ring so that no abdul salam who dares to earn a good name for his country is forced to leave the country and labeled as kafir let freedom ring ladies and gentlemen let freedom ring Mr President today i refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt and i still have my eyes fixed on the scale of justice in our judicial courts where on one side is our freedom to live and on the other is our progress let's join our hands together ladies and gentlemen to curb these chains of captivity because today letting freedom ring has become a necessity or otherwise these monsters that we have created in locked cages will keep feeding their bellies on our blood thank you